Hi everyone, it's Sunday and you know what that means. It's time to re show the results from the Nail Polish Lottery Club. We're into week number three. This week our number was 79 and I do have 79 untried polishes. And number 79 on my list this week was a Rescue Beauty Lounge, Catherine H. It's a limited edition polish. I bought this, oh, a couple of months ago maybe October, November, and I just, I've never worn it. And it's a real pretty, it's a pretty blue. In fact, I think it's like the color of my eyes. It's very close to that color. It's like a medium blue. In the bottle, it has a shimmer and some sparkle, but that does not translate onto the nail, unfortunately, that I've been able to see. This Rescue Beauty Lounge, I've talked about it a little bit in another video. I had done a comparison of Insouciant by Rescue Beauty Lounge and Sally Hansen Grage Gardens. And there was just virtually no difference in the color. The But the price, the Rescue Beauty Lounge prices out at $50 an ounce. And Sally Hansen prices out at $15 an ounce. So... In that case, you know, the Sally Hansen obviously is the one that I prefer. But this color, I don't have anything like this color in my collection. I didn't have anything to compare it to. And I'm glad to have it. Um, will I be buying any more Rescue Beauty Lounge polishes? Probably no. I'm happy with the two that I have. They do, um, they make these, their polishes in very small batches. And she's kind of created a cult following for the polishes. And, um, you know, she'll say that they're limited edition and they're gone. But then in a few months, she does what's called a bring it back and they come back. And so I don't know, like this is a limited edition. And supposedly when it sells out, it's gone for good. But I'm sure you could probably go to their website and buy it. I was on their website yesterday and it is available. This one is $18 a bottle. The other one I had was $22 was $20 a bottle. So, um anyway, that's my week 3 result. I was really tickled with it. This was one that I'd been wanting to try. The first couple of weeks were polishes that I didn't really want to try, but I did, and I'm glad that I did. I've got them marked off my list. I'm whittling my list down. I got rid of quite a bit of my julep. Um, I had got some YSL polishes that, come to find out, when I opened them, they were gloopy and they were all but used up, and so I took those off my list. So I'm getting down there on my number, so that's good. Um, one thing I do want to mention about the Nail Polish Lottery Club, we have a Facebook page, and you guys, are the support has just been overwhelming for me. I really appreciate your support, and it's just been a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun seeing your postings. Your, I love seeing your color. Like, I just can't wait to see everybody's number 79 this week. And if you don't have 79 polishes, you add 7 plus 9 is 16. If you don't have 16, you do 1 plus 6 is 7. So no matter how, many, how large your collection is, how small your collection is, you can participate. The other thing is that I want to make really clear, I post my results on Sunday. And the reason I do that is because months ago I started a series called 50 actually the series started out named Sunday series and it was where I would wear a polish from my collection that I'd never worn before and then from that it went to I had asked my viewers for suggestions for a name and somebody came up with the name 50 shades of Sunday so and that was a lot of fun that was a great name but you know that's kind of run its course so I post my results on Sunday, but you can post your results anytime you want. And actually, to tell you the truth, right now, it's Saturday night. It's Saturday night about 6 o'clock. It's not really Sunday, but, you know, and that's the thing. You can, you can film any day you want, 
and you can post any day you want. You can post it on our Facebook page, you can post it on your YouTube channel, on your blog, wherever you want to. I just happen to choose Sunday just because that's kind of a tradition that I started many months ago. I know there's a uh, person out there that's kind of copied our club idea, which is great. I think it's wonderful. Um, you know, what did they say? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and I really believe that. But that person had made a comment that she didn't want to participate with our club because she didn't want to have to post on certain days and whatnot. So I just want to make it really clear that you don't have to post on any certain days. You can do it whatever day you want. And Deanna draws the number on Monday. If you want to post it that day, post it that day. You know, just label it Nail Polish Lottery Club. So, um, yeah, I just want to make that really clear. You can post it whenever you want, wherever you want, you know, whatever it means. Some people post on their blog only. Some people post on their blog. They do a YouTube video and they Twitter like me. That's what I do. I believe Deanna does that too. Um, you know, so, and some people only do YouTube. One gal, she's really sweet. She does a little, like, 30-second video showing her nails and the polish, but she doesn't say anything. But that's, you know, obviously her number, whatever, for that week. And it's just been really fun to see everybody's polishes and if they like them or not. And this is the first time, week number three, is the first time I actually have a polish that I wanted to try and I was anxious to try it. Um, I've had this on since yesterday and it's there is a little bit of tip wear which I'm kind of surprised because this is a very good quality polish um, and I plan on keeping it on for a couple more days. I do have another polish that Wheaton Beauty One sent to me that I want to review for her so that'll be the next polish that I'll wear, and I'll show that to you guys. Anyway, that's the results for that. This, you know, this Nail Polish Lottery Club has been, it's just been a lot of fun. This week we had a surprise giveaway. Deanna and I had talked when we started the Facebook page that when we reached 50 likes on our page that we would do a giveaway, and it wasn't anything that we talked about besides between ourselves. And when we hit 50, um, Deanna did a random drawing. I believe what she did is she took everybody who liked us and then alphabetized their names and then drew and uh, had random.org pick a number. Um, you know, that's kind of the most um, fairest way to do it. And Jessica Wood won the giveaway, and what we gave away was... Uh, a new Urban Decay Basics palette. So that was a lot of fun. Jessica was thrilled with that. And um, we will be having more giveaways on there. As well as the giveaways ended on our YouTube channel. We did that for the initial Nail Polish Lottery Club video that we had. And would you believe Deanna and I both had the same winner? So that was kind of fun. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.